Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Mariana, and in today's video, we are going to tackle the dishes. The method that I'm sharing with you of how I grew up doing dishes, it's very effective and environmentally friendly by its nature, and it also makes sense. Basically, you sort out your dishes in the order of the most dirtiest. You are going to leave that to the end. And the least dirtiest, you are going to start with those first. So common sense, we will start first with the drinkware, which is the cups, our glasses, and our coffee or travel mugs. Although I live in the United States for almost 30 years now, I grew up in a country where w the houses have a tank on top of the roof that collect rainwaters, about 50 gallons. They vary in size, but on average, that's the size of the tank. And the families will use this water first for the day-to-day life such as your running your toilet doing the dishes washing your clothing taking your showers and this water will go into another small tank that when you need a hot water it will warm it up for you therefore when you're doing your dishes you first want to clean it like you just watch me do and then you use the water to rinse it now, if we were back when I was little, I actually had two buckets, one with the soapy water and another one with just hot water that I will rinse the, the, the dishes out and then put them to dry. But here we have running water, so we're going to rinse our dishes through the faucet. I am sharing this information with you because we are going through a drought season and some states are worse than others. And did you know that in the United States, the average family uses 20, 20 gallons of water every time they do dishes? If you have a dishwasher, your dishwasher usually uses five to seven gallons for a full load. However, I just don't find that any dishwasher can do an effective job, especially when it comes to your pots and your pans and any greasy uh, things that you got going on. It does not work the same. And I find that I always end up washing by hand my dishes my dishwasher has become a very expensive drying rack tell me do you find that your dishwasher it's effective enough that you don't have to hand wash your dishes today's video would you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell it will help me grow my channel and it doesn't cost you anything
understand that for the working mom, and I mean the mom that has to go outside of the home to work, and I say that respectfully because how many of you out there know that a mom is always working 24-7, and if a mom works outside when they come home, it's just they coming home to their second shift, and actually that shift is the most important one, which is to take care of their families. But I, what I'm trying to say here is that I understand that for you, it may be difficult at this season that you're going through to wash your dishes by hand and that it's more time effective to put them in your dishwasher. And if that works for you, then keep doing that. This video is just to motivate you to get you to either load your dishwasher or do some dishes. It's also now you have extra information because now you know how many gallons of water it's gonna take you to run your dishwasher. And it's just motivational. And you and me are just here doing life together and tackling our chores together. Words. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your Trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope You know, when we have easy access to things that perhaps others have to work double to get it, because, you know, there's still children out there that have to go with buckets to the well and get the water and go help mom and bring that to the village, right? That's extreme, but that still exists and or there's families out there that they couldn't pay their water bills so now they don't have water and the pandemic really increased the poverty around the world right and i say this because i've been living here for a long time in the united states and in 2015 my grandmother uh, she got really sick, so we did an emergency flight for a week. My father and I and my uncles who live in Florida. And, and one of the nights I'm doing the dishes there and my uncle went to take a shower and he had to come out. And he said to me, what are you doing? You use all the water to do the dishes. And very kindly, he reminded me because he was the uncle that lives in Florida. He said, Mariana, we're, we're not in the United States. Remember, you cannot do dishes. She's having your water running. And I was like, oh my God, I, I forgot. After so many years, I forgot that in here, we cannot, we can, we can just not run the water like that. There be no wars I recently finished reading a book. The title is The Afro Minimalist. And in the book, the Christine, the author, she shares a story about a couple that were having marital issues. And one of the complaints that the wife was having is that every time the husband uh, was doing dishes, he used a lot of soap, extremely amount of soap. And the reason for that, it's because when he was growing up, he didn't have enough resources. The mom didn't have enough resources for them to have a soapy 
um, dishes. And he loved soapy water when he was growing up and that was something that he lacked of. And then when he turned into an adult, he made a lot of money. He's a very wealthy family. On the other hand, the wife didn't have those issues growing up. So she couldn't understand why the husband had to use so much soap. What was the satisfaction into having a lot of uh, soapy water? And to the husband, that was very therapeutic. It was a healing process for him and he enjoyed it. He felt that once and for all, he had control of something that he didn't when he was growing up. And I share this with you because the way we were raised and any anxiety, depression, any unbalanced feelings that we may have or anything that we're struggling with. And even if you are not having any issues mentally or physically, the way you conduct yourself daily and the things you do, it's all a reflection of your habits and it's all a reflection of your growing up. And I, and I hope that if you are at home and you are having challenges, and I don't want to say fights, I want to say a challenge moment with your spouse, I hope that this part in this video, this conversation that you and I are having uh, helps you question yourself as to why is my spouse doing this? or why am I doing this? And I hope that it helps you see it from the other person's perspective. And open up the conversation and ask, why do you do this? What caused you to do this that usually irks me or strikes me in the wrong way? And with that, perhaps there's a healing in the relationship. Switching gears now to this pan, which took me about five minutes of elbow grease, but I speed up the video for you. And if you have any ideas, what can I do to bring this pan back to life? Now, the second pan, I don't care because my kids use that pan and if they burn it, I don't care. But this one, I mind. So any ideas, please comment down below. And also, I hope you enjoy this song that I picked. I just needed to throw some Spanish music in here to get me through this pan.
never thought about you Don't know why I keep on doing what I'm told to do When the rules are made up by someone we never knew Baby, wipe your tears and hear me out We don't need someone to feel alright Let's do the streets on Monday Let's call your exes and tell them they can join us too Why always worry about money When you can get rich by trying to see the outside I know it's hard sometimes to believe it That you deserve more than me Friend, from the bottom of my heart, if you're still here, I am reaching over and giving you a hug and letting you know that you are amazing and that you are fearfully made and that you are beautiful. And if no one told you this, I'm telling you, you are beautiful and uh, I need your friendship. Yes, I said I need you because sometimes we feel that we're not needed. And when we are juggling a lot of things in our home we felt that no one sees the hard work that we put into but guess what i see you and i know that you are out there hustling and making things happen so just remember that if you're still alive if you're still breathing that you are worthy and that you are amazing and until next video leave me your stories in the comment i am looking forward to learn about you more and hearing your stories and your upbringing either if you were born with everything or if you were born raised with nothing i want to hear your stories